The Grand Junction Police Department today highlighting two of its 911 dispatchers, each of them helping a family deliver a baby that didn't want to wait till mom and dad got to the hospital. Reporter Adam Woodbury spoke to one of the dispatchers today and has the story. Any parent will tell you that that drive to the hospital while mom is in labor is already stressful enough as it is. But if it looks like you aren't even going to make it to the hospital before the baby comes, well, that's an entirely different story. I was raised in a law enforcement family. Um, my dad's an officer, my mom's a retired firefighter, my sister's in a fire academy. So I knew for the longest time that I wanted to work with this fact. 1,500. That's how many 911 calls come through the GJPD dispatch center each week on average. So we dispatch a lot of medical calls, but for the most part, it's like falls or I was throwing up or I fell off my bike or things like that. But then yesterday, dispatcher Kira Rushton got a call that she'll never forget. It was my first call coming back from lunch. I sat down, the phone was ringing, picked it up, 911, this is Kira, what's the address of your emergency? My wife's having a baby and we're not going to make it to the hospital. That's when the adrenaline kicked in and Rushton looked back at her training. Pregnancy and labor is one that we've all learned, like we've gone through it. I've practiced it multiple times, but just because I've practiced it doesn't mean I know exactly how to do it. She was able to help calm the anxious father and coach him through the delivery. I was nervous. He was nervous. We were both stressed. I just had to be a little less stressed than he was because I had to tell him what to do. And in the end, a beautiful baby came into the world. She was really patient with us and walked us through it until, um, until the first responders got there. It was pretty nerve wracking, yes. It was an experience, um, not one I expected to have, not one I'm really necessarily looking forward to having again. But the fun didn't stop there. Shortly after Rushton helped Sandals deliver his baby, another call came in. Another baby was on the way. Um, my coworker Emily was really lucky. She was able to help someone deliver a little baby boy just a few hours after me, so which never happens. Two brand new lives, bringing more joy into the world. We get the roughest of the rough. We get people in their worst moment, and so it's so nice to be able to have those special little moments where you're like, this is a really big deal, but it's a really big deal in a really positive way. And to kind of put things into perspective, of those 1,500 weekly calls, those are just for the police department. That doesn't take into account for other agencies such as the fire department and the sheriff's office. And during her time at the dispatch center, Rushton says she's only had about three labor calls, but this is the first time she's had to deliver the baby all the way.